Sawadee so Krap and welcome to Thailand News Today. Well, last week it was Bang San's turn in Chombury opening up the beaches. The uh, hordes were flowing down there, causing all sorts of traffic delays. Today it was Phuket's turn. And, uh, well, it didn't seem that people were rushing to the beaches this morning. These photos taken around about 10 a.m. But we expect as the day goes by, people will we'll start turning up at the beaches. But we don't expect anything like the traffic that they had in Chombury last Last week. Anyway, today we're going to be spending a lot of time on one particular story, so let's get started. The third or fourth quarter of 2020. That's as precise as Deputy PM Somkid Jatusipatak could give for a timing of reopening Thailand's foreign borders. He says that priority will be given to those arriving from coronavirus free areas. Mr. Somkid said that relaxing in board travel restrictions is the first step to kickstart Thailand's tourism industry. He said the government has to be prudent in screening travellers and implementing an efficient tracking system to reduce the risk of a second wave of infections. He said that visitors from countries or areas where COVID-19 outbreaks have been contained are likely to be the first to get the green light. So the Deputy PM's murmurings of the third and fourth quarter this year certainly push back a magic and sudden reopening of all the international borders on the 1st of July. If you do have travel dates sometime early in July, I'd be keeping in contact with your local embassy and certainly your airline of choice. Mr Somkid said that it doesn't have to be an entire country. He said we can allow visitors from towns or provinces which are free from the coronavirus. Travel restrictions will be gradually eased. The terms the government are now using are travel bubbles and green lanes that would share reciprocal safe entry for travellers from both countries without the need for 14-day quarantines. Meanwhile, national carrier Thai Airways has pushed out its restart of flights to Europe and other international ports from early July to at least the start of August. A Russian man in Phuket has been arrested after trying to sell fake tour tickets to other Russians. Students at Tamasat University in Bangkok have now been told they'll be able to choose what uniform they wear depending on their gender identity. About 437 public schools under the jurisdiction of the Bangkok Metropolitan Authority are deciding to cut class sizes down to at least half when they open up on July the 1st. A former politician has shot a woman up in northern Thailand in Lampang, apparently over a land dispute. And at least one Thai woman hasn't fallen for an online scam, falling in love with a British pilot. Nice to see sometimes the shoe is on the other foot. All the latest information on thetiger.com, that's T-H-A-I-G-E-R. We've also got Facebook pages to keep you up to date with all the latest information. In the meantime, thank you for joining us today and we'll be back again tomorrow. Flash Thursdays is Thailand's very first fully online property sale event. Fazwas.com has brought together the largest range of new developments in Thailand's most popular markets. With limited stock and exclusive prices and huge discounts, you don't want to miss out. It's simple. Sit in the comfort of your own home on June 18th and all day long we will bring you the best discounts available. Secure the unit you want by paying the reservation fee online using your credit card. And if you don't purchase, we'll issue you a full refund. It's free to join, so register today.